Shimon Peres dies. Former Israel Prime Minister, President and Nobel Peace Prize winner has died at the age of 93 in hospital. The world pays tribute led by US President Obama, Prince Charles, and of course, President Clinton. Marcus Garvey, presidential pardon petition has only gained 25,000 signatures, which needed 100,000, lacking 80,000 signatures. The question becomes, why did this petition only gain a small figure when he's such a prolific figure in the black community? Now, that is something for us to think about for a second because many people talk about the Marcus Garvey legacy, Marcus Garvey education, but then there's another school of thought. The question is, why is a pardon necessary? Why not the teachings of Marcus Garvey? That is what some say. But at the same time, Jamaica alone could have actually forked out 200,000, 300,000 signatures. But no, they're all having a go at Itana because she says she supports Chump. What can I say? I let that land right there. Hurricane Matthew leads for Jamaica, packing wind speeds of up to 145 miles per hour, strong enough to wreck houses. Forecaster says, this gives a remembrance of what Gilbert was like. We pray for Jamaica and hope that everything goes well. Trump and Hillary battle head to head in this week's first debate. Was Trump unprepared? Well, Secretary Clinton doesn't want to use a couple of words, and that's law and order. More debates to go, and of course, more to watch, want to watch, Hillary. And of course, what we really need is a good um, moderator. Let's get Samuel Jackson. Labour Party conference this week with Jeremy Corbyn outlining his visions for the party, asking for unity of all in an attempt to bring the parties together. Next week, we have the Conservative Party conference as well, where Theresa May will be setting out our plan for the UK. And many people are asked, expecting or maybe anticipating that she may call an election should there be an election call? What do you say? Your call. Thank you for watching In Review with this brief update. See you next week.